Textron Aviation Defense, collaborating with Italian aerospace leader Leonardo, has officially put forward the Beechcraft M-346N as a contender for the U.S. Navy's Undergraduate Jet Training System, UJTS. This twin-engine jet trainer, a variant of Leonardo's M-346 Master, is tailored for training Navy and Marine Corps pilots in carrier-relevant operations, without the need for full carrier arrestment capabilities. Following a series of Navy requests for information, RFIs, over recent years, the M-346NS submission anticipates a formal request for proposals by late 2025. This aircraft aims to succeed the aging T-45 Goshawk and meets the Navy's evolving training needs, which now emphasize simulated and ground-based carrier landing practice rather than actual arrested landings on aircraft carriers. Textron and Leonardo have already formed a partnership to customize the M-346N to U.S. Navy systems, advancing early engineering to support this adaptation. In line with new Navy directives, the M-346N will perform only field carrier landing practice, FCLP, to wave off scenarios, eliminating the structural complexity of installing tail hooks or launch bars. This streamlines the aircraft's design focus toward high-fidelity simulation and land-based training, a method supported by the M-346NS Advanced Live Virtual Constructive LVC, training ecosystem. Currently, this platform serves air forces in Italy, Israel, Singapore, Poland, Greece, Qatar, and others, with recent sales to Austria and Nigeria. The training suite incorporates AI-driven adaptive learning and comprehensive ground-based simulators. Powered by twin Honeywell F124 GA200 turbofans, the M346N features state-of-the-art fly-by-wire controls with quadruple redundancy, a modern cockpit outfitted with large area displays, LADs, head-up displays, HUDs, hands-on throttle and stick, HOTAs, controls, and augmented reality-capable helmet-mounted displays. HMDs. The jet can reach speeds over Mach 1.2 and fly up to 45,000 feet. Safety systems include pilot-activated attitude recovery and automatic ground collision avoidance. The training infrastructure extends beyond the aircraft to include mission planning, live monitoring, debriefing tools, and virtual maintenance trainers. The LVC environment enables seamless interaction between actual aircraft, simulators, and virtual adversaries without live weapons. The Navy's pilot training philosophy has shifted to reduce reliance on costly frontline aircraft like the F-35C and F-18 Block III during initial training phases. David Kindley of Leonardo U.S. highlights the Navy's goal of expediting pilot readiness by introducing complex mission systems and data processing training earlier, supported by affordable platforms like the M-346N. Precision Landing Mode, PLM, which standardizes aircraft descent paths during carrier landing practice, is central to this shift. PLM minimizes structural stress and pilot corrections, removing the need for arrested landings in early training stages, and reducing dependence on carriers by leveraging simulation technology. The UJTS program, initiated to replace the T-45, envisions an acquisition timeline beginning with 10 aircraft in FI 2026, scaling up to 25 annually from 2030, targeting a fleet size exceeding 145 units. Alongside the M-346N, Boeing, Saab's T-7A Red Hawk and Lockheed Martin, KAI's T-50 are competing for selection. Textron previously entered the Air Force's TX competition with an earlier M-346 variant called the T-100 but was not chosen. Despite this, Textron's legacy of supplying Navy training aircraft spans over seven decades. While initial assembly of the M-346N would occur at Leonardo's Italian plant, plans are being evaluated to shift final assembly stateside, aiming to meet by American Act requirements as domestic content rules tighten. The M-346N measures roughly 11.5 meters in length with a 9.72-meter wingspan. Weighing about 4,600 kilograms empty and capable of taking off near 9,500 kilograms, it's designed for transonic speeds without afterburners. It boasts a climb rate above 6,000 feet per minute and can handle sustained loads up to plus 8G. 
Its internal fuel system supports more than 1,000 km unrefueled range, extendable via external tanks. Certified for both visual and instrument flight rules, the jet integrates modular avionics, dual civil military radios, tactical data links, and built-in test capabilities, allowing for versatile and cost-effective pilot training. Textron and Leonardo are actively working to incorporate Navy-specific features such as PLM and advanced cockpit displays. Structural analysis ensures the airframe can endure repeated FCLP wave-offs. The M346N derives from the Block 20 standard, which includes two large area displays and enhanced performance tracking, offering personalized training pathways. Globally, the M346 platform has surpassed 100,000 flight hours, supporting instruction for aircraft like the F-35 and Eurofighter Typhoon. Its architecture is future-proof for Navy needs, including potential weapons training or aerial refueling simulation, if required. Textron engineering teams have visited Leonardo's Venegono site for production insights and knowledge exchange. The retiring T-45 Goshawk, introduced in the early 1990s and developed jointly by McDonnell Douglas and British Aerospace, served as a carrier-capable advanced jet trainer based on the BAE Hawk. With 221 units built by 2009, the T-45 replaced older trainers like the T-2 Buckeye and TA for Skyhawk and was used primarily at NAS Kingsville and NAS Meridian. Despite cockpit upgrades over its service life, the T-45 faced challenges including oxygen system failures and structural fatigue, leading to multiple fleet groundings and pilot safety concerns. These issues, combined with obsolescent avionics, have driven the Navy's push for the next-generation UJTS solution, with the T-45 planned for retirement by 2035 or soon thereafter.